If you're someone who's struggling with weight loss right now, or you're feeling really overwhelmed and you have no idea where to start, you're not alone. I was there too. I used to weigh 275 pounds and my weight was starting to cause me massive health problems. I was developing sleep apnea, I had plantar fasciitis so bad I could barely walk, and I knew I needed to lose weight, but I had no idea where to start. I had tried for years to lose the weight with fad diets, taking away food groups, trying to do way too much too fast, and none of it worked. I failed every time because it wasn't sustainable. So I decided, what if I try making small changes? I've got nothing left to lose. So I did. I made eight small changes and it worked. I was able to lose my first 50 pounds in three months because these changes felt easy for me to do. It felt like I wasn't even dieting and they were sustainable. And I'm going to share them with you guys in case they help you because small changes, they might be small, but they can lead to really big results. So the first one that I did was I used to eat from the bags or from the tubs of containers that food came from, I switched from that to a plate or a bowl. Every single night, I ate an entire bag of chips. Instead of eating the bag, I still ate the chips, but I measured it out in a pretty decent sized bowl. So I still got a good portion of chips, but eating half the bag allowed me to eat in a calorie deficit without even trying because I was eating less chips than I was used to. And my husband, Kyle, he was 375 pounds and he started doing the same thing and was able to get very similar results as me because we were still eating what we loved. We were eating the chips, eating our snacks, but putting them in a bowl and portioning them out was what really helped because we were eating less and it didn't feel like we were dieting. The second switch. I was drinking seven cans of regular pop a day. Dr. Pepper was what I drank. It was my favorite. I switched from drinking regular pop to diet pop. I still drank the seven cans, but going from regular to diet saved me about a thousand calories a day. That was just in liquid calories, not even including my food. So I was automatically going in a calorie deficit because I was drinking way less calories, but I was still drinking my Dr. Pepper. It was just diet. And that I couldn't believe that I could get results and still eat the chips and drink the pop. It was really cool to see that little changes could work. The third one, I went from being completely stationary to moving my body a bit. At 275 pounds physically, I really couldn't do very much, but I could walk a little bit. So sassy Kyle, my husband and I, we made a pact with each other that we were going to get out every day and move our body with walking no matter what, rain, snow, shine, whatever it was, we were getting out there and moving our bodies. We walked, we started with five to 15 minutes and we allowed ourselves to walk at the pace that we were capable of, which was very slow at first. And we had to stop every few minutes because of the plantar fasciitis for me and Kyle got leg cramps, but it didn't matter. We just went out there for five to 15 minutes, moved our body. And that was a start combined with what we were already doing with the small changes. It really made a difference. You know, often people will say like, I, I have injuries. I can't do a lot of walking. Five minutes was all we could do at first. And it's better than it was better than what we were doing the day before. So if you can only do five minutes or you can only walk up and down your stairs once, Small and small change, one five minute walk. It's more than you were doing, it's progress. You can do this. Number, number four, I went from drinking no water at all to moving or introducing water slowly. So we decided to put a bottle of water every night in the bathroom for each of us so that 
The next morning when we woke up and we washed our face, we made sure that that water was done before we left the bathroom. And that allowed us to already have one bottle of water in for the day. It already set us up for success because if you're not hydrated, one, your body doesn't function properly, but two, your body can send you signals that you're hungry when you're actually thirsty because you're dehydrated. So getting in enough water helped us not get as many hunger cues and we felt a little more full and we were reaching out for food a lot less. Number five, we went from denying ourselves treats to including it in our lifestyle change, into our diet. We originally thought that we couldn't lose weight if we ate treats, but all that did was cause us to rebel and eat a ton of treats. And you know, we already struggled with emotional eating. So telling ourselves no, it made it worse. Allowing ourselves treats, we portioned it out and had a little bit, it worked because we were, we were eating dessert. We were eating like half a cup of low calorie ice cream every single night and losing weight because we were allowing ourselves treats. It, in the beginning, we couldn't have a ton of treats in the house because we did have emotional eating. So we bought single serving packages or single serving little containers of ice cream. And once it was done, then it was out of the house and we didn't have to worry about going back for more. So that's something you can do if you struggle with that as well. Number six, we went from skipping meals to eating five meals a day. So. I used to skip breakfast all the time and it would set me up for failure because I'd be so hungry by the end of the day, I would come home and eat everything in sight. So I decided to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks and spread it out every two to four hours. And it really helped because my it helped rev my metabolism up and sort of like repair my metabolism that I had damaged by overeating and, and skipping meals all the time. It also allowed me to never really feel super hungry because I always had a meal and it was spread out so well. Number seven, I went from eating regular or higher calorie foods to switching to the lower calorie version most of the time. For example, condiments. I used to choose, you know, the regular salad dressing, butter, full fat, everything, cream, milk. Instead, I went to low calorie sweetener. I chose non-dairy milk instead of regular milk because it was lower calorie. I chose the lower fat dressings and the lower sugar ketchup and that saved me calories all over the place. And then, you know, I would choose lower calorie treats and lower calorie like, I would choose lean beef or ground turkey instead of full fat beef. And then sometimes I would give myself the regular version, but choosing the low calorie version most of the time allowed me to eat less calories and that is how I was able to lose the weight. Number eight, I went from eyeballing my food, not measuring at all, just putting it all on the plate to measuring it out. And what I did was I bought a food scale, measuring cups and measuring spoons. And I would look at the backs of the packages on the nutrition label. It says the serving size and I would measure out one or two servings depending on how hungry I was. That was what I did. I still ate what I liked. I just portioned it out instead. I didn't change what I was eating in the beginning, just how much. And you know, sometimes people will ask me, well, how do you know how many servings? I would measure one to two per meal, you know, and then at the end of the week, I would weigh myself. And if I was losing weight, I knew that was enough. That was the right amount of servings. And if I gained weight or didn't lose weight, I would pull back just slightly and then sort of do trial and error until I figured out the right amount of portions for myself. And I want to throw a bonus out here, meal prep. And I know you're probably going, that's not a small change, but doing it the way that Kyle and I did it was we bought things that didn't require a whole lot of cooking or prep at all. Single serving things like protein bars, granola bars. We bought fruit and veggie trays where the fruit and veg were already cleaned and cut up and we could just portion it out into containers. It was already prepped for us. Bag salads, frozen entrees, like I bought a lot of lean cuisines, a lot of smart ones, all those ones that you can get that are pretty low calorie 
for lunch and I would just throw them in my lunch and heat them up at work in the microwave. So it didn't require a ton of prep and it allowed me to have food there when I was hungry because if I waited too long and I didn't have meals prepped, I would set myself up for failure and I would eat things that I didn't really want to eat and eat way more of it. So the friends, I hope that helps you. Any small change, one step at a time. That's what Kyle and I did. And the changes you can build on them because they're sustainable. And again, anything you do, if you add an extra water, that's progress. It's all it takes. It's better than the day before. And, and build on it. One extra water today, five minutes of cardio, and then you'll keep going. And you can do this. We believe in you. Kyle and I struggled for years, and we did it, and we believe in you. Gotta love what you're doing, love your food. You'll be more likely to stick to it if you make small changes that you can actually do. And if you wanna know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, I have two weight loss guides, weight loss eBooks. The links are down below along with a brand new guilt-free cookbook or the exact supplements that I use, which is Huddled, harder than last time, protein powder. They also have EAAs and a bunch of other stuff. Links are down there for that. Or you can watch these two videos to see how Sassy and I make weight loss fun and easy and enjoy everything, enjoy the journey and just love life and love your food and just like that. I love you, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you. You can do this one little thing at a time. I love you. Thanks, guys. Gotta show the slippers. Oh yeah, um, and wear goat slippers. It, ah. it, it brings you the lust for life. It gives you the zest of life. <laughs> That's another bonus tip. It is goat slippers equals a zestful life. Love you. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.